Hello and welcome to Tweed's Garage where today we're back in a workshop and we're going to be dealing with a problem of too much friction. So first thing to do is um, give these threads a bit of a clean and, uh, and a, a bit of penetrating oil. So I'm just going to clean these. Run them quickly under the angle grinder with a wire brush attachment and let's see if we can get these undone. The bolt should be capped if it's shouldered so hopefully it'll stay in there so we can get the bolt undone. Success. So you've got your tension indicator, spring washer, and then you've tension spring, your uh, adjustment indicator disc, and then your tension bolt. Back washer and your outer and inner friction arms and your friction discs, which as you can see is rust rusted up and uh, rather than generating friction, it's just basically locked up. There we go, there's the last friction disc off. And uh, we can't reuse these because, well, as you can see, they gradually get thinner with age as they, as, as they wear with friction. And what that allows to happen is that the outer leaf gets tightened down and in the end is running on, on the inner, inner leaf. On the steel rather than actually on the on the wood. Okay, so to overhaul them, got some new pre-oiled friction discs. I think they're made out of beech, something like that. Um, they're about about six pounds each, and then for each damper, I've got a new bush to go in, goes in here, you can just, just see it, I'll bring it up to the camera. The original ones are made out of wood, amazingly enough, and then these new ones are made out of some modern nylon. Um, there is a bit of an issue with them, they're slightly undersized, so I'll pop them on the lathe and I'll and I ball them out a bit, and also they're slightly wider than this blade so I also take a skim off to bring them down to the same size as the old bush. So, so that's all, all your components, two discs and then your star washer. The, these um, indicator discs, I'll just clean this one up for now just to tidy it up, um, clean the muck off, it won't clean up perfectly but you can get new transfers to, to put on these but it's just, just a just a light overhaul rather than a full restoration for these. So I'm going to clean them up on the angle grinder and get them ready for paint.
not telling you to suck eggs, but when using one of these, always wear these to stop ear damage. And one of these, which you can pick up really cheaply at the moment because of the uh, the uh, epidemic, but they're they're perfect for um, grinding, especially if you wear glasses. Your glasses don't steam up. And the reason for doing it is, if you look at my overalls, they're there and there. These cheap Chinese things they're good but they, they, they don't hold the wires and they just fire out all over the place. With all the parts cleaned and painted it's uh, nearly time to reassemble. Um, but there is a problem with these new new bushes. The um, bushes I've got are slightly deeper than they need to be, and they're also the hole isn't big enough for the bolt to go through. So what I need to do is stick them on the lathe, part a bit off, and uh, and bore the hole out in the middle for a for a nice snug fit. So we'll go over to the lathe and do that. Next thing we need to do is push in the new bush. So we use a socket to put behind it, new bush in front, and if hopefully a bit of persuasion, it should push through. There we go, new bush in, and as I said, the old bush and wooden bush that was in there before. So with all the parts cleaned up and um, painted, it's time to reassemble. So I guess this is in the Haynes manual, it's just a reverse order of the way we took it apart. So take a blade and then your two new friction washers in and they're um, made of beach I think and they're pre-oiled for uh, for life so you don't have to worry about greasing them up and then the bolt go, goes through that way and sits in the shoulder there up pretty well. Star washer goes like that, leaving the numbers clear. Spring washer, pointer, then the nut.
guy. You can actually see there's actually a gap between the uh, the inner blade and the outer blades, whereas before it was rubbing. The, the wood had worn so much that the the uh, metal the steel outer shell was rubbing against the blade on the inside. And there we go. So that's how you overhaul an Andre Hartford shock absorber, and as you can tell. It is a whole lot better than what I started off with on the bench earlier on. Uh, the last thing, set, last thing to do is set the uh, damping rate similar on all four of the uh, dampers before bolting back to the car. And the way you do that is you support this end of the uh, shock absorber in a vise and hang a weight on the other end and adjust the nut until the weight just drops. Um, on the Riley, it's a light car, so it should be around, the information I can find, should be around 16 to 19 pounds. So I've got a 14 pound weight somewhere, and I'll add a bit more weight to it to get, get, give it up to about 17, 18, I think. Set them all the same, and then they're ready to go back on the car. Um, and But when you put them back on the car, they're, they're fitted with tapered nuts, so just just do the nuts up, but not tight. Settle the car back down. If it's jacked up, drop it back down on the floor. Settle the springs, and then when you're finally happy with that, that's its uh, settled position. Then you then you tighten down the nuts and um, put split pins in if they've got split pins, and 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 you're ready to go. And then when when you're using them, the way you adjust them is um, doesn't matter front to back. They you know you can set them differently to to how you like. Um, but when you do side to side, just make sure you do the, the same amount of flats or the same amount of number segments on each side, just to keep it all even. And um, yeah, so that should be good for another oh, another 90 years. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, video or it was helpful, or gave you an insight into these, uh, these uh, dampers that you see on vintage cars. Um, and if you like what you see, uh, click um, subscribe down in the in the corner because uh, there will be more videos along later I've got more jobs to do and then there's um, we'll be doing a you know, walk around and a road test and, and all other vehicles I've got as well so yeah see you soon <laughs>